Good morning, Farmington. Today is Thursday, February 4th. My name is Lindsay Bowen, bringing you your morning news. Students, before we jump into the news, we would like you to please do your part in keeping us in school. As you know, COVID cases are on the rise, so we need to do our due diligence in ensuring that we stay socially distanced from others, wear your mask, and wash and sanitize your hands often. There are a lot of benefits to us being on site for learning, so let's do our part and keep it this way. Today for lunch, we'll be having chicken alfredo with a twist, wheat toast, mozzarella breadstick, marinara sauce, carrots, romaine salad, fruit, fruit juice, and milk. We have received a message from the Department of Health and Arkansas Department of Education that we will not be able to host prom for spring 2021. We apologize again for not being able to host such a memorable event. Again, we will include as many of our planned events as possible this year. Stay positive and go Cards. The state ACT will be given to juniors on February 23rd for free. For juniors that do not want to take the ACT, will need to see Ms. Mr. Williams or the counselors to fill a waiver form. February 23rd will be a digital day for the 10th and 12th graders while the juniors take the ACT. Ms. Kirkendall is scheduling some virtual college visits for that day. You must attend the virtual visit to be counted present. Ms. Kirkendall will post more information soon to your class of Google Classroom sites. Students, Friday is a free hat day, compliments of Coach Harper. Fellowship of Christian Athletes will meet every Friday morning at 7.30 in Ms. Selby's room, D211. Any upcoming junior or senior who has a job should consider taking Ms. Gates' internship class next year. For more information, grab a packet from outside her room, D101. If you have questions, then email Ms. Gates or stop in. Students, are you interested in an internship with NASA this summer? Texas Space Grant Consortium and the University of Texas at Austin will be hosting this internship involving Earth and space science. If you would like more details, please see Ms. Murphy or Ms. H. Robinson. Have you ordered your yearbook yet? Well, if not, your time is running out. You have until February 12th to get it ordered. The cost is $45 and there will not be a lot of copies ordered. You can order at the link listed on the screen on our high school website or the links listed on social media. The extra copies that are ordered will be $60 and will be first come first served. So to guarantee your copy, order before February 12th. With Valentine's Day fast approaching, it's time to start thinking about letting your crush know how you feel. You can send them an orange crush soda and a serenade from the Honors Choir for only $5. Pick the song that says how you feel about that special someone. Lean on me, ain't no mountain high enough for the longest time or like I'm gonna lose you. An orange, cr an orange crush soda can be sent to anyone on the high school campus and sent anonymously. You have until Monday, February 8th to purchase from a choir member at lunch and deliveries will be made Wednesday, February 10th. Teachers, if you have any other announcements that you would like added, please contact or email Mr. Dean or fill out the form that was sent via email. Well, that was going to do it for the news today. Up next, we have Landon Link in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Have a thankful Thursday. Farmington, remember, wear your mask. Thanks, Lindsay. My name is Landon in the Card Center with the latest and greatest in sports. Both boys and girls basketball teams return to action Friday night when they travel to Gravit to take on the Lions in conference action play. The JV girls will start the action off at 4 o'clock to be followed by the JV boys, varsity girls, and finally the varsity boys. The Lady Cardinals will also be in action Saturday evening to play a makeup conference game against the Huntsville Eagles. Well, that is going to do it for us in the Card Center today. Have a thankful Thursday, Farmington, and remember, wear your masks.